this vlog this morning there has been so much drilling i tell you what i am sick there are a few things that i'm sick of at the moment but i'm sick of the drilling it interrupted me repeatedly on friday when i was trying to film and it was so annoying and it has come back today it has returned there's works on like either side of the street the road's been closed off so i can't even leave i can't even be like oh screw it just gonna go be somewhere else. No. So I basically spent my morning waiting for it to stop. It's taken a while. And do you know what I'm also sick of? I am sick of the cold. It is so cold. It got a little bit warmer last week and now it's gone back to being cold again. And I am just so over this winter. I was not made to live in this climate, I'll tell you that. But today is Monday, we've got a fresh start, a fresh week. Not necessarily off to the best start. However, <laughs> we move and the drilling has stopped. I'm so happy. And I actually just had a really nice chill weekend. I saw my sibling. I don't know why I always call him sibling. And his girlfriend on Friday. And that was really fun. Brian and I have got a trip to Liverpool that we've planned. And they're coming with us. And we were just like planning bits out. So that's all been really lovely. Side note, if you have any recommendations for mainly places to eat. I like eating when I travel. If you have any recommendations of places to eat in Liverpool, I would love to hear your suggestions. It's going to be short and sweet, but I'm really excited. I've always wanted to go and visit and I've actually never been so really excited for that and aside from that I spent most of my weekend on the sofa binge watching Inventing Anna. I always go to call it something different because Ryan will literally call it like a different like inviting Ella something like that every single time he talks about it but I really really enjoyed watching that it was so good. Did a little bit of online shopping, ordered a new lawnmower, all of the very exciting things. So that was my weekend this week is a bit of a chill bump. I think I'm slightly busier towards the end of the week and the weekend, but today I am mostly at home. Today, one of the top priorities on my to-do list is to start getting our garage renovation sorted. We're at this point where as, as soon as there's a call that I make, it basically starts rolling and I'm a little bit scared, if I'm honest. Like, I don't know, it's just such a big step, but I'm really excited to do that. I actually had a dream at the weekend about, like, do you ever have those dreams where they're so real, they're so close to real life that you actually can't tell that they're ever a dream until you wake up and you're like, oh, that didn't actually happen. I had a dream that the loft conversion had been done and I was literally like planning in my walk-in wardrobe and obviously it was quite heartbroken when I woke up and I was like, oh, that, that was not real. Cool. And I've actually got to wait the longest time for that to happen because though we've had the drawings, which I think I will have shown you in a vlog before. Oh, need to put that in the vlog. Although we've started the process of having the drawings drawn up in terms of like cash flow, it's not going to happen right away. I think we're kind of aiming for end of next year. So I really have the longest time to go until my walk-in wardrobe. So I don't even know I'm getting so excited right now. But anyway, aside from the building stuff today, I've got lots of editing to do and I'm really, really, really behind on it. It's just not my favorite thing, but I need to crack on with that. I've got two nail videos to edit now. I need to get my butt into gear. Also need to start working on a spring like transitional outfits video like winter to spring. So I've got a lot to do and I'm basically putting all of it off by sitting here talking with you. Major procrastination vibes going on today. I'm really happy with how my hair came out today. Got a new, don't I always, I always have a new little hair technique which I will maybe show you tomorrow because I'm not sure if this is gonna like fully hold. But it's basically a specific technique with my straighteners and then I put it into rollers, kind of like hold it but also to just like tweak the shape slightly and yeah. I think it's cute. Also, this is my little outfit of the day. I have got a body on from Misguided and then my leather trousers from Zara and then my Converse. Yeah, that is it. Oh, and then my hoops are Monica Vinida and then my rings. I have one Monica Vinida one on and then the rest are a mix of Majuri and Local Eclectic. And my lip product of the day is Anastasia Beverly Hills Naked. Oh, lucky. <laughs> You're too much. Okay, we 
we have posts. I may have made a late night mango order. Will I like any of it now that I have it in my hand? So that is the question. Oh, I forgot how nice it was to sit in this spot when the sun is actually shining. It makes me remember why I started sitting here in the first place. Okay, first item. Yes, cute. I really like these trousers. I thought with like a white crop during spring and summer be really cute and i like the tone of them a lot they're very like work wary but i feel like with a white t-shirt like especially if it's cropped on me i think it might freshen it up a little bit let's see i think it'll look best paired with like white stuff to kind of make it look a little bit more like fun and playful i feel like if i put it on with what i'm wearing now it'd look very work wear but if you do work in an office or like smart environment i always say office because that's where I personally associate with being like a smart environment. I say that. The last office I worked in was very much like the casual end of smart casual. So I don't know what I'm talking about. But if you work in an environment that needs you to dress smart, these could be a really good option. I'll try those on. I've got these in a size 36, which says it's a UK 8. Yeah, I think these are going to fit well. Okay, then we have a black trench coat i really like mango trench coats my favorite trench coat that i own is from mango and it's in a lovely like nude color and i really like a black trench i have this like dustery coat but it is so light like it's more of a summer type trench but i thought with that in mind this could be a really good option i picked it up in a size extra small i believe that's the size that i have my other trench in though this does look like it's a little bit more fitted so you know that could have been a poor decision i think it'll be cute though i think i would get a lot of wear out of this if it fits right next we have this cut out body which feels like swimsuit material i'm slightly confused have i accidentally ordered a swimming costume but it's really thin but yeah you guys know i love a black body and i like any top at the moment that's got like a cute design that can basically dress up jeans so really excited to try that on i got a size small yeah and then we have this really cute shirt it's like a silky kind of material it's quite a bit thicker than i expected but i like that i think that's going to be really nice and i love the black trim on it it's very cute i would definitely wear it more open rather than fully done up like this i literally look like i should be going to school but i thought this could be really cute with like my leather trousers that kind of vibe so we'll see how i got on with this one i got it in a size small uk eight. it's quite oversized so i definitely wouldn't bother like taking a size up if you're in between sizes okay next item i thought this could be a really nice one for dinners out like a smarter kind of dinner probably like a work dinner for me it's this faux leather skirt it's in a midi length i've been loving my faux leather mini skirt so much at the moment and i thought this could actually be a really nice one for if i don't want to have my legs out as much but i also don't want to like wear tights i thought this could be so cute a really nice one with like a black body like this and maybe like my jimmy choo boots would be really really cute or like a pair of strappy sandals as things get a tiny bit warmer with like my zara sleeveless bodies on the top that would be really really cute so i'm excited to try this on i've got a size Small. okay next we have this black midi dress and it's got like a cut out side that was really really cute it might be a bit long on me i've got a lot of material going on here it might be more of a maxi dress so this might maybe not be the one i got it in a size small yeah not sure i love the material i actually would have been happier with like a thick jersey i know not everyone would feel the same but the material that it is makes it feel a bit more like work wary and it's a bit more like corporate i'm not sure i'll try it on anyway and then we have this body this body also feels like swimsuit material as well so i think it's just the way mango why do i feel like i've said zara oh god this might just be the way mango bodies are made i personally don't love it but i do really like the color of this it's really cute i think it would look so nice with the black faux leather skirt it could kind of look cute with the trousers as well maybe it might be a bit too warm toned but yeah i really love the color of this that was what attracted me to it i've got it in a size small so that is it for today's mango order let's try these bits on see what i think i have high hopes for the trench coat the trench coat and the trousers and the faux leather skirt i'm really excited to try this on okay what do we think cute yes or no i think i need a different bra with this i'm currently wearing a bandeau bra and i just don't feel like this body is super flattering it's quite thin so it's not really holding me in at all like it's doing nothing for the girls so i think i'd probably need like a very supportive bra on with this the color's really cute but i don't know i think there's like quite a bit of excess material and because it's like thin it's just creasing a lot i'm not sure can you let me know do you like it would you keep it oh no i just don't no 
it's too thin such a shame because it's so cute but i also feel like it's actually washing me out a little bit as well which is not ideal okay so the drilling is back but we're gonna carry on because otherwise i'm getting absolutely nothing done today these are the trousers which as you can probably tell are a little bit just a little bit too long for me but i should be fine to adjust them slightly i think what do you think do you think they're worth cutting down not literally cutting down i mean like adjusting i think they could be really nice with like a pair of cute like sandals in the summer just paired with a top like this i think it would be really nice i really like the high waist and how much they like streamline your hips i think it looks really cute really like cinches in the waist and i really like that i love the pockets but yeah let me know what you guys think okay the trench is super long but i really like it i really really like it i think with just a pair of leggings and like a t-shirt exactly like i've got on now i think it really elevates just like a really simple t-shirt and legging trainer combo and i really like all of the like collaring and detailing on it i think it looks really cute it's got a tight waist as well which is ideal yeah i really like it so the tie waist cinches you in really, really nicely. The length is great. Looks good with trainers. So the sleeves are nice and long as well, so it feels like a little bit oversized. I think I have nailed it with this purchase. I'm very, very happy. Okay, so this one could do with the steam, but I'm really not going to bother because I think the material is way too thick. It just, it doesn't sit very well. And I just don't think it's particularly great quality. I'm just, I'm really not loving it. I don't feel like I would get the wear out of it. It's just not really sitting very well, to be honest. I think it's made to be done up as well. And that is just not how I want to wear it. And it just kind of like is all over the gaff without it, but too thick to like be floaty and cute like this. It just, it's not really working. Okay, I'm not sure about this one. I think I'm maybe wearing Maybe wearing the skirt wrong. It looks okay from the front, but when I turn to the side, the knot detail just, it's giving me food baby and I currently have no food baby. And I don't know if I'm meant to be wearing it lower maybe so that it has less of that. But then that doesn't look right to me because then it looks like this. I'm so confused. Maybe I need a smaller size. I'm sure it's meant to be more, a bit more high-waisted. Oh, I don't know. I'm really not sure on this one. The body is nice. It's not giving me much of a cutout vibe though because it's quite long for a body. So I've got a lot of excess down on the lower half of the body. It's definitely made for someone a bit taller than me. And then I think it would have like more of a cutout detail. But other than that, fits completely fine. Yeah, I'm just really sad that it's not really working out the way I had envisioned. It just looks like I've got a random hole in the body as well because it's not really giving me the cutout vibe I'm meant to have. Okay, this dress is really nice. I forgot about the chain detailing, which I haven't fully unwrapped because I don't know if I'm gonna keep this, but it's really cute. However, I'm not sure if I should have gone for a size down because I don't know if you'll be able to see, there's quite a lot of like excess material around the arms. In fact, the arms in general are just quite big on me. I don't know if you can see, but there's just like a lot of excess. But it's just not really giving the like luxury evening vibes, which is kind of what I think this dress is all about. Like it's got that cutout, the lovely chain. It would be an amazing like dinner dress, like going out for a really nice dinner kind of vibe. But the arms and the excess material like around the underarm area, it's kind of just like letting it down a little bit. So I think I'd maybe need a size down, but once again, over the hips, I am not sure that this would be fitting. I feel like this is a repeat issue that I'm having with this order and like mango sizing is that I need a size down for my top half, but there's no way my bottom half is fitting into any of these items if I size down. So not ideal, but love this little like cutout detailing with the chain. I think it's really, really nice. Just shame about the overall sizing, but let me know what you guys think. Do you like it? Do you think it's a keeper? Or would you just deal with the fact that there's like lots of excess material? Maybe like roll the sleeve up. This is what it looks like with the sleeve rolled up. But again, this like material around here is just very visually annoying.
thought I'd quickly jump on here before the drilling starts again because I have a feeling it's about to start. I'm going to show you how I did my hair yesterday. As you can see, it hasn't really stayed. It's just kind of got a bit of a kink to the ends now and it's not looking too great. So I'm going to do a little refresh and kind of repeat what I did yesterday. It wasn't too intense in terms of the heat on it, just like one go on the ends, which I don't think is too bad. So basically I was trying to find a method that with curling my hair, I find I'm keeping a heat tool on the hair for like longer than I would basically with a straightener because you're constantly moving a straightener. So basically kind of straighten the root of the hair and then I just roll the straightener like that and it gives you this kind of like little wave to the end and then what i did yesterday was take that curl and there we go hello good morning drills and then i'd roll it and pin it obviously start normally from and then when i take it out it would look like that i don't start with the top half of my hair obviously i section it as you will see i'm gonna do a like sped up version of this but i thought i'd just talk you through the technique first it's super easy just one thing to note is i don't curl away from my face like at an angle like this to give a curl i go straight over so it gives that more like bouncy blow dry kind of curl and the only prep i've done for this is to add a little bit of oil to my hair i put this in my hair at the moment morning and evening just to really help my hair stay hydrated because if it's more hydrated it's less likely to break so i did that when i woke up so it's all kind of like sunk in now which is great so yeah i'm gonna crack on i'm not gonna compete with the drilling we'll see how we go today in terms of this vlog because this could be a bit of a disaster like yesterday drowning out the drilling Sod's law, I've just had a call from an inspector that's coming to look at the garage for we kind of like get it all booked in. He's coming in 20 minutes. So this isn't gonna have very long to set, but I'm gonna hope for the best. I'm gonna get some makeup on and then I'll hopefully show you the finished result shortly. <laughs> just got my makeup to a point where I can answer the door to the inspector without looking insane but following that I obviously need to sort out the monstrosity on my head because that is also going to make me look insane there we go look at that now if I were a normal human being I would hairspray this <laughs> but I actually don't love hairspray even like the gentle hairsprays I find that when I brush my hair later on it just makes my hair feel knotty. I'm worried that it's gonna break. I'm not a fan. I'm still annoyed at myself that I forgot to put mousse in my hair when I washed it. When did I wash it? Sunday night? Because I think I actually wouldn't have to be doing this right now, a second day on the trot, if I'd have remembered to put mousse in it. That was one of the suggestions from you guys. I can't remember what your name was, whoever you are. I'm so thankful to you for suggesting a mousse because actually it's a real game changer. This is the kind of look that I would be looking to achieve with my GHD Rise, which I love more than any other hairstyling tool right now that I own, but I do just find like that constant heat styling is probably not doing my hair any favors and I'm not quite at like the length that I want to be yet. So I still have like a decent amount of growth still to go. So like I want to get it to like down here, I think. But yeah, that is my current hairstyling routine. It's working out pretty well. Fingers crossed next time I wash my hair and remember to put mousse in it because I think it will just hold so much better the builders are on lunch i can hear my own thoughts so i'm actually stuck inside all day waiting for deliveries which well not all day but maybe all day which is annoying however the inspector has been for the garage and everything seems to be kind of normal with that no snags 
thankfully. So that's all done and I'm just gonna do some ad mini bits now whilst I wait for my deliveries to arrive. I'll show you what they are when they arrive. I'm gonna make a little smoothie at the moment as well. I'm gonna try and make something resembling the rebuild from Joe and the Juice because it's like my favorite thing. I'm actually going into town on Friday. So it's gonna be a Joe and the Juice day and I'm really looking forward to it. But yeah, I'm gonna try and make something. I have no idea what I'm gonna be doing. So I'm literally just gonna wing it. I'm thinking like bananas, some kind of chocolatey substance, oats, protein powder. Maybe I'll do a shot of decaf coffee, maybe. That, will that be nice? I don't know. I'm gonna give it a go. States. I think the rebuild has that and I think it really helps. But yeah, overall pretty good. I think I could have done with less nuts. It's kind of a bit hazelnutty, which is quite nice. Like a hazelnutty iced coffee kind of vibe. So this has a whole banana in it, chocolate oat milk, vanilla protein powder, a scoop of peanut butter, nuts. Basically, I think I've overdone it on the nuts. The peanut butter is a really nice addition though. It comes through really nicely. Ice, shot of decaf coffee. I probably didn't need as much milk for the bag that I was putting ice in. So that's something I'll definitely tweak next time. Look what has arrived. Oops, fashion into the door. I put a jumper on by the way, because I got really cold after I had my smoothie. Now I'm actually roasting. Like I'm surprised my cheeks aren't red. They're kind of doing that thing where I feel like my pores are really open right now. I get this weird feeling here when I get really hot. But anyway, very excited because my far-fetched delivery for the day has arrived. I think I ordered two items and I think this is just one of them because they're coming from separate stores. However, fully blaming you guys for one of the purchases I made on Farfetch because you asked me to link my sunglasses and whenever I have to link things, I always end up buying something else and uh, I bought something else. Oh my God, also, I forgot to tell you, hang on. I'm gonna put a picture of it on screen. The body that arrived yesterday in my mango order was not the body I ordered. I knew there was something weird about it. I was like, this just doesn't look like how I thought it was gonna look. It's not the same body. I reordered. So as Laura went onto mango and saw other things I liked. So yeah. I'll show you that in an upcoming vlog. But yeah, I was shocked. I was like, I knew there was something weird about that body, and I went and looked at my order history and I was like, completely different body. Oh, much better. Anyway, this purchase has been a long time coming. I have been telling myself I'm going to buy these every spring for the past four years. Ooh, the boxes didn't used to look like this. I really like the new boxes. They're so cool. And the tissue paper. I love it. I really, really like that. That was a good move. Oh, wow. I have not bought from Gucci in a long time. This is cool. I really like it. You're awake now. Now I've started speaking. Sorry. Thank you. Oh, my baby. She is just delicious. Mm -hmm. I have the Gucci loafers. However, I'd always regretted getting them with a bat. I just don't feel like they sit particularly well on like my body. I think because my ankle is shorter, like not having a back. My ankle is shorter, my leg is shorter. Not having a back kind of almost elongates the foot a little bit more and I find it a bit more flattering. So finally, I picked these up. I really hope they're gonna fit. I'd also love the new pair as well, but at the moment they're not in stock in my size. However, I'm gonna keep searching. But I think the new pair would look really cute with cute summer dresses. I think my is here. Oh dear. Always whenever I'm like in the middle of something with you guys. But yeah, I picked up the black because I thought they'd just be super wearable for every day. Like really cute with a pair of jeans or trousers, even a dress as well. Yes. 
can now mow my grass again. <laughs> it's been getting pretty long. Black jeans, like a full all black outfit, but I think these would just be perfect for the spring because they're not too closed in and I can get more of them as we go into summer. Ultimately, I just think they're very practical for spring, summer, autumn in the UK. If like the weather is like warmer and I don't wanna have my foot fully like closed in, these will be a really nice option. Especially because in the UK, we don't get the hottest summer. I think I will get a lot of wear out of these during the summer months. Do they fit, do they fit, do they? Oh yeah. Ooh, they fit really nicely. <laughs> so I got these in a size five. They feel a little bit loose. However, the weather conditions when I wear these will be slightly warmer and my feet will probably swell slightly. So I'd say they will probably be a perfect fit for spring summer. They still feel tight enough over this part of the foot to be like practical. I don't feel like they'll just be flying off every time I take a step. But yeah, there is a little bit of room in them. So if you are like in between sizes, like I, one of my feet is a four and a half. I think it's the foot that I've actually put the shoe on is a four and a half. So the other foot feels slightly more snug. So I would say they're a very true size five. So if you're worried at all about sizing, they are like a decent size five. And this is what they look like on. Just throwing them on with my Zara leather look trousers. I think they'll be super cute with the trench coat as well. Maybe I'll show you that now. But I am working on a winter spring transitional outfits type video. So you will get to see these like properly styled up very, very soon, hopefully. So this is the look with the trench coat on. I'm obsessed with this trench coat. This trench coat made the fact that that mango order was a real dud for me. And this trench coat made it all worth it. I'm so, so happy with it. And I think it looks really cute with like a pair of leather trousers these loafers i don't know if i wear the white t-shirt i'm not normally a huge fan of like i like all black most of the time i actually think it's quite a cute outfit despite the white t-shirt to be honest good morning how are you doing i've got a big stack of posts to unbox with you today i'm actually i have a couple of bits from zara i'm gonna leave those because i think i've got enough for a good video so keep an eye out for that it'll probably be up more towards the end of the month yeah i've got a few other bits that have arrived this morning I've got some PR and then a couple of little bits that I picked up. One from Farfetch, one from Monica Minida. I'm really excited to show you both of those. But yeah, today it is Thursday. This week feels like it's been a bit of an emotional roller coaster. So I'm just having like a slow, chill day today. I'm excited to just like make myself some yummy dinner tonight and chill. I'm wearing this really cute shirt today, which is from Zara, and I just love the color of it. I think it works really nicely for like spring with like a pair of leggings and stuff like that, but it's gonna be such a good one to wear in the summer with like a pair of white shorts. I think it's gonna be so cute. Yeah, I love this a lot. I also love the fact that it, it kind of creases easily, but the creases drop out so quickly. Like I wore it the other day and tucked it in and it was like super creasy on the bottom half and then I just left it and it's absolutely perfect. So yeah, very happy with that. I also have a different lip color on today to usual I'm wearing. Anastasia Beverly Hills, same brand, but different lip color. The liquid lip in Pure Hollywood. And I always feel like a completely different person when I wear this color. It's such a like pale, mauvey nude, not something, it's like very cool toned, not something that I'd normally go for. I always feel like really done when I wear this color, but I absolutely love it today. I've gone with a brown lip liner just to kind of make it look a little bit more natural because it looks quite like very like mauvey pink, but very light, like very white based without any lip liner and just kind of looks a bit off on my skin, but a brown lip liner is beautiful. So yeah, I actually have no jewelry on today as well because I'm really excited to open this little package. I made a little order from Monica Minida last Friday and one item isn't actually coming for a little while, but I think there's one or two items in here. I think one, I honestly can't remember. I had quite a lot in my basket and I had to do that thing, you know, where you like whittle it down because <laughs> you're like, I've really gone overboard. <laughs> yeah, excited to pop that on. That's why I'm not wearing any necklaces and then I'll like pick my jewelry once I've unboxed that. Yeah, I'm gonna set you down and we will unbox this together. I actually don't know. There's a spacing K delivery that's on the bottom as well. It's quite big. I have no idea what that is. Of course, the drilling gets louder as soon as I sit down. It's an ongoing saga this week. The building work is, it's actually like road works. It's actually getting worse. It's getting bigger. It's getting longer every day. <laughs> I'm a step away from moving out. Yeah, we're getting started with my Monica Benida order. So it is two bits, so I didn't whittle down the order as much as I probably should have. So first item. Oh, cute. So cute. Sorry, I should be showing you. I've wanted this necklace for so long. It's such a sweet little necklace. It's like this gold circle with a little diamond in the middle. Really, really pretty. I have been wearing my Monica Vinodeau. It's like a round little diamond circle. I've been wearing it so much lately. So I wanted to, like, I like to switch up my jewelry, but I do really like little simple pieces 
like this so I thought I would get something that's like similar but not the same and I like that this was a bit more noticeable and less dainty there we go really cute yeah I really like that you can adjust the chains as well I think that's like a perfect length for this I think because it's a little bit more chunky it suits being like a little bit higher up on the neckline you could also make it a choker as well if you wanted to so yeah really love that and the other piece I picked up is this necklace it is so pretty so cute I love that so this was to replace <laughs> My necklace that I got for my birthday and I very sadly lost which was sadly like real gold chain and then a really gorgeous little diamond which is basically like you could barely see it but it was so subtle and so pretty and I absolutely loved it and the chain unfortunately was so dainty that it snapped it must have snapped when I was like changing or something but I was watching an old vlog back from like autumn the other day and I saw it and I was like oh I really miss that it just looks so cute so I decided to pick this one up from Monica Vineda because it's quite similar yeah i absolutely love it just so dainty really doesn't like stand out at all but it's like nice to i always really like having a necklace on like i don't know what it is even if it's like super like barely visible i really love it so those were the two that i picked up from monica vinada if you want to pick any of these up as well i have a 20 percent off code i'm not working with them in this video but they very kindly let the code run for quite long periods of time at a time so love them for that thank you guys so it, i think it's like susie b 20 or something like that i will confirm in the info box and then the other half of my farfetch order has arrived and i blame you guys for this this is completely your fault i picked up a new pair of sunglasses so lots of you will know i have these I get asked about these all the time and other stories actually do a dupe which i always forget and i may have really effed up in this situation because i'm pretty sure around other stories do the version of these that i wanted i really love them anyway so i picked up these sunglasses from saint laurent same style i believe or very kind of like similar in their shape yeah they're, they're called something different now so when i originally purchased them they were called like the wave there's a code for it which is like ls26 or something like that it's actually on the sl 276 these are the mica sunglasses and these also say mica on them but actually when i purchased them online when i go back and look at the name of them on the website they say ls what is it? sl276 wave so i don't know if they renamed them but anyway i picked them up in this really cute tortoise shell which i thought would be so nice for like spring summer just as a slightly softer alternative and these are just like my favorite sunglasses i literally wear them every day i barely wear any other style of sunglasses now these are just like my go-to's i haven't had a pair of sunglasses that i've worn religiously like this in a really long time so yeah i thought it'd be cute for spring summer just to have a softer version however i would say they are quite similar just ever so slightly softer but the lens color is also slightly different as well this is more of a rose tinted lens and this one is more of like a green tinted lens i might actually put one of these in to have prescription lenses put in so that i can actually drive and wear my sunglasses because it's blinding out there so that was the other half of my farfetch order I'm very very happy and then we're gonna open up this little surprise from space and cake so we have some more bits from rare beauty this is so cute we've got a makeup but this is their like rare beauty do merch they do a little makeup brush cup just very sweet and then we have a little makeup bag which is very handy it's really large i like that that's going to be really handy for traveling with and then i just love it when brands do a hoodie oh. so cute it's this lovely like raspberry pink color very very cute thank you very much space and co for that i'm really tempted to peek into my zara order This is so cute. A little bit sheer, but with the new bra underneath, it'd still be really cute. This would be so nice with like a pair of white jeans, I think, for like spring summer. Ooh, but yeah, that is the uh, sneak peek. That's all you're getting. So if you want to see me try that on and you want to see what else I got, that will be coming up this month. So excited to share that with you. Look at these. 
Do these not just look absolutely delicious? I've taken one out. I gave it to Ryan this morning before I came home. I actually haven't tried them yet, but I'm so excited to eat them. I feel like they'd be amazing with like either a peanut butter that's maybe got like a bit of flavor to it. Like there used to be a blueberry peanut butter from Pippa Nut. I really wish I'd like kept a backlog of that. Or I think it could be really great with like a blueberry compote, maybe a little bit of yogurt. Oh, almost like treat it like a crumpet or a pancake or something or some French toast. Mm, it would be so good. Hello, do you need something? You're just sitting here staring at me. Oh, you're so cute. You're such a good girl. Such a good girl. Look how small your head is. Why are you so small? Hi, five. <laughs> so, don't mind me, I'm not making another cup of tea. I'm making Lauren a cup of tea. I think we'll give her this mug because this is very well suited to her. I have a question for you guys, which is what shocks you most about adult life? Like you've made it, got here, we're all adults. What has surprised you slash shocked you the most? Lauren said the cost of tuna which I raised her with the cost of like fresh tuna because six pound for some tuna steaks. What the effing fresh hell. And mine was how quickly grass grows. Boring yet still shocking. So yeah, down below in the comments, please. What has shocked you the most about adult life? I would love to know. I feel like you'll have some good ones. out to the shop this is my little uh, otd the jacket is jacket my coat is from 12 stories i love it it's so soft it's the prettiest new color it matches the shirt that i'm wearing underneath my bag is from adenola but i've got my fendi camera bag on because i just get so scared about losing my purse and then i've just got my leggings on adenola socks night like trainers <laughs> yeah off to get some food because have no food in my fridge again and i don't know who's eating all this food but it can't be me it's 100 percent me but i don't know i don't remember eating all of it this is also an excellent opportunity to test road road test <laughs> to road test the new sunnies the same but different sunnies <laughs> honestly i'll never get over how dorky i look with glasses on wow we're blue in here let's change that hello <laughs> not blue anymore that's better it's giving inventing anna vibes <laughs> So basic. Oh god, that was really bad. Anyway, I'm so sorry if my accents ever offend anyone. I'm just not, not an actress. I, it's like, it's eight o'clock and I'm ready to go to bed. If you are a human with small humans, I don't understand how you do life. I think about it basically every day. Like I hit 28 and then I just suddenly felt tired. And I, I remember saying it, I was like, I literally feel like I've just hit 28 and I'm tired. I, I don't understand how you meant to do life with small children. I'm already tired. I think, not to be dramatic, but if I got any more tired, I'd be dead. Literally the most dramatic thing I've said all day. Anyway, I'm gonna get ready for bed now. I'm gonna love you and leave you here. I'm gonna leave you with a montage of me doing my skincare. I hope you've all enjoyed spending a couple of days with me, if I'm gonna be honest. It's been a rough couple of days and I feel like I haven't really given much in terms of chat so yeah i hope you guys don't mind that this was like one big vloggy long ass haul i hope you enjoyed it i really do i feel like i've been a little bit off my video game lately but i think we are getting to a good point now and i'm feeling like for, i feel like positive for the next few vlogs that they're going to be back on track although so many of you can, can i just take a moment but how many of you are so nice and you literally message me like I have always liked your videos or I, some of you are like, I'm not gonna lie, I stopped watching your videos a few years ago. But the basic sentiment is everyone is like either, I did watch your videos or I love your videos anyway. But the recent videos, the past couple of months have just been my absolute favorite. And I just wanna say a big thank you from the bottom of my heart for that because 
they the vlogs i vlog over a longer period of days at the moment rather than doing like a vlog one here one there and it does mean that it takes longer to produce one whole video because it's like three days of vlogging instead of just like bashing it out in one go it's more effort the raw footage <laughs> the raw footage is like at least two hours lauren i'm so sorry it really makes it worth it that you guys have been really loving the vlogs and i really appreciate that and that's why i'm quite hard on myself if i'm not like if i don't feel like i'm giving I feel like I'm letting the team down because I always want you to enjoy the videos. I hope no one's noticed that I've been off my game because actually <laughs> we edit the videos and I forget that it doesn't look necessarily like I'm off my game. Yeah, my basic point is I've been off my game. I hope no one noticed, but if you, even if you didn't, I've pointed it out now, but I hope regardless of whether you did notice it or not, you have enjoyed this vlog. I'm actually gonna bring you along with me this weekend for next week's, next week's vlog? A vlog coming up, God, I forgot, the schedule has left my brain, along with every other brain cell other than the capability of like talking gibberish right now, apparently. But my point being, I'm excited to bring you along for my weekend with me because it's gonna be just like a really nice weekend. I'm really looking forward to it. Mostly because I get to go to Joe and the Juice tomorrow. That is, I'm buzzed, I'm so buzzed about it. Anyway, I hope you guys have all enjoyed this video. I love you all so much. And I'll see you again, I think on Thursday, but I'm not sure, so it might be next Monday. Who knows? Love you, bye.